What's up Starcraft fans? You are watching a co-op mutation? I am CTG and we are playing negative reinforcement on part and parcel. I am playing this time as Hand and Horner. My masteries are Strike Fighter Area of Effect, Double Salvage Chance and Air Fleet Travel Distance. My ally, let's go into the replay, will be our master, who will be playing as Karax. So, while we were waiting for the loading screen, a huge thank you to Zachary, who is supporting me on the Mobilization Wave tier. tier. Thank you to Neo Metal, who is supporting me on the Pulse Cannon tier. And thank you to all my supporters on Patreon, your literal gods tasteless. That means you're awesome. Now, we have two mutators for this, uh, for this game, Avenger and Fatal Attraction. As I explained before, Fatal Attraction will cause the enemy to pull our units to their location when we kill them. So for example, uh, if we kill something here, all this around, all our units around that location will be pulled to this area. And Avenger, whenever we kill an enemy, one unit around it will be stronger. That means uh, if there are 9 units and I kill 8 of them, the last one will get all the buffs. That's basically it. So our, our, our objective for this map will be to destroy these boxes over here. We have a little health. This one is slightly more, 500. Armor too, though. That means, uh, yeah, once we destroy these, we will get parts to, uh, to power up the Balius. You can see, gather the Balius parts to destroy the hybrid. So we, did, we need to destroy enough of these to get 70 parts. There we go, 70 parts. And then uh, once we gather enough Balius parts, this, uh, this mech right here will activate and try to stop the Mobius hybrid. And we have uh, 4 minutes and 30 seconds to do just that. So anyway, what I'm doing right now is uh, starting up my Assault Galleon. It's uh, the production, the primary production structure for uh, Mirahan. And they've also started a refinery so I can get Vespine Gas. Vespine Gas is one of the resources required to power up my army. These blue crystals are minerals. For those of you who uh, aren't really into StarCraft, maybe there are some of you, you know? Usually, uh, the guys who watch my game are... Uh, usually the guys who watch my game are actually pretty... Uh, pretty long time uh, players of co-op, from my experience, from, uh, from reading the comments, but who knows? Maybe uh, I get an odd guest who's never seen StarCraft before. Anyway, I start another Supply Depot. The Supply Depot will increase the denominator of this number, which basically provides the amount of the number of troops I can uh, support on the battlefield. So I put down these Magmites earlier, and I use this Reaper to draw the enemies into these Magmites so they will detonate and take out the enemy. Ally has already started this expansion, by the way. He is Karax, that means he has a powerful top bar called the Orbital Strike and the Solar Lance, which he can use to uh, clear out the enemies here without risking many of his forces. I'm also starting an armory here and an engineering bay there because I wanted to, to rush out my, uh, precision, my strike platforms as well as upgrades for my Reapers, particularly the one where they... Uh, the one where they release, uh, what's that upgrade? Here. Yeah, the Reaper will throw multiple grenades towards the killing unit. So we're waiting for this attack wave. You can see on the minimap on the lower left, there's a red dot approaching my base. That will be the attack wave. So we engage that. As you can see, the enemy has marines and medics in the first wave, which means the attack, or the enemy composition, will be Bioterran. So we move over to this side. We skirt around this, uh, this, this base because it's pretty small, and I want, to if I want to find a big enemy base to use my to use my top bar on. So allies offered to use his Chrono Boost in 10. It's a powerful Karax ability that speeds up all the production of his allies and his own buildings. For 20 seconds. So as you can see, I drop a space station here. That is, that is my top bar. That will kill everything it touches unless they are heroic units. And uh, 
After a few seconds, it detonates a nuke. So that's a thing. I'm also getting these upgrades here. To upgrade my wraiths. These are wraith upgrades, so my, uh, my areas will be stronger later on in the game. I also start a pair of refineries to get that gas going. I will need gas for both my strike platforms as well as my wraiths. So just keep going. Now I'm starting my first two strike platforms. This will be really helpful later on. Especially in getting vision and clearing out enemies that deal lots of damage to my units. Send my dudes forward and clear out these buildings. You can see the Reapers deal lots of damage to enemy buildings. Start another depot there. Send my Reapers to collect these. It's really nice that uh, microtransactions isn't a thing anymore. For those of you not familiar, microtransactions was a different uh, mutator that, uh, well, it does different things. It was very annoying. For those of you who haven't played it yet, just take my word for it. It was very annoying. So I send these Reapers forward, just a few of them, because I just need them for vision. I use the third top bar, the air fleet. As you can see, it summons a fleet of battle cruisers. As you can see, there are shadows on the map. It summons a fleet of battle cruisers and they shoot, they shoot a lot of stuff really at the enemy at a long range. And they look, look at them, they're just clearing everything in the path. Look at them, just dealing the damage. Alright. So I'm still saturating my mineral line. You want to get your uh, your minerals, your saturation full as early as possible, because uh, well, the more minerals, the more saturation, the better saturation you have, the more minerals you earn, and the more minerals you earn, the more money you have to spend on units. Which means you get a better, you means you better army, more upgrades, which means more chances of winning the game. So the palace is just uh, going at that bunker, which is fine. So it's a single bunker. I can get that later. Still making reapers, by the way. So as you might have seen, I'm going for that fusion core. Primarily because I wanted to get the fire damage for the, for the precision strikes. That's fine. I'm still going for, I'm still going for the train. Don't worry about it. A little more. A little more. And... And... Down it goes. Now I pull back my whole army. Because I don't want to find those... I don't want to fight those things yet. Those are siege tanks and stuff. And they deal splash damage to my units and I don't really want to fight that right now. Okay. I dodge that large circle, which will stun all my units temporarily. As you can see, it even stuns buildings. Move my Reapers out of the way. Oh, look at that. Oh, those Reapers, those, uh, that enemy attack wave is going at our buildings, but I'll have to, I have to focus on this one for now. As you can see, Fatal Attraction even pulls my SCVs out of the way, which means I'll have to pull all these SCVs back to work. Like so. Still making uh, supply depots. As you can see, I am making everything. I'm making all the stuff. I'm trying to get vision using my Reapers. Trying to clear all that stuff. Kill that siege tank. There we go. There we go. So yes, now I have this upgrade. When killed, the Reaper will throw multiple grenades towards a killing unit. That means uh, my army is basically Banelings. When they get killed, they will throw, they will throw uh, live rounds at the enemy. 
which will of course damage them. Which is why I got that upgrade. So it doesn't matter even if I lose my even if I lose my army. A, I get I get a partial refund, and B, <laughs> they are bailings. So they still deal damage. So I use some precision strikes to uh, give myself vision to see where I want to attack next. And I drop the space station there. Uh oh, that's a huge Thor. I'm gonna kill that. I'm gonna destroy that. You see, it killed a bunch of my units. I only have two Reapers left. But the good news is I was able to clear that the, that huge Thor over there. Alright. Now it's just a matter of remaking my units. My fleet is ready for deployment. I clear up the next part of the map. I can hear the ghost, by the way. There's something shooting at me that I cannot see because it is cloaked. However, I know it's there. Because I can hear it. Enemies are on the way. Oh, there's a ban there are banshees here. Yeah, you can s I, even if I don't hear them, I can see the projectiles they shoot. So I throw down a bunch of uh, magmites over here. Apparently the magmites too get pulled by fatal attraction. It's pretty funky. Pretty funky. <laughs> Trying to pull my, my assault gallus back. There we go. I get a raven, so I can detect these enemy units that are cloaked. And we can take care of them. A second train. Intercept it. You are there we go. Launch. Now I finally have enough. Set for parts now. Diagnostics. I am fully this saturated. Take a bit. But I will need more train. assault galleys. As you can see I'm flowing a thousand minerals, which is uh, not good for macro. However, my ally does activate ma uh, the chrono boost, which will allow me with lots of units during the time that it is active. So yes, I am using this time to, uh, yeah, to re, uh, to re-increase my supply. You can see, I use, I use the, uh, the, the precision strike to give vision of this area, and I use the, uh, fleet call down to destroy all the stuff in here. It's a pretty nice tactic without actually receiving damage myself. We're still trying to uh, hammer that train. Yeah, just keep going. This is General Davis Start another depot just because I can. And you can see now I'm building out of uh, five, five assault gallons at a time, which is the maximum, the maximum number that Han and Horner can have out on the battlefield. This is really the strongest possible army, or the. Uh, the army of Han and Horner with the most firepower, just mass reapers, and with the uh, anything that you uh, any excess if resources go to uh, rates and like some battle cruisers if if you still have resources after that. Okay, put down some magmites over there to try to intercept the attack wave. Here comes the hybrid. The hybrid. Oh, gotta dodge that. There we go. Now whale away at that hybrid. Oh boy, it looks like my ally got destroyed in that attack wave. He has two, uh, a carrier remaining. It's not not that great, but as you can see, I'm still increasing in supply. I went to 140 right now, but here comes the enemy. I use precision strike to try and take them out while uh, looking over at my main army. And there's still some siege tanks that survive, and unfortunate, the unfortunate thing for me is that the siege tanks are the one that have Avengers. Avenger stacks, which means it shoots fast and it deals a lot of damage. So I'm forced to pull my army back. The good news for me is that uh, we are still we are still dealing damage. My ally is here helping out, whereas my army is now back from uh, is now on the way back from uh, from its defense. While that's happening, I restart my the workers that I lost. I try to take out that last. Last hybrid. Down. There we now go. The Surprisingly, I'm still I'm still at 145 supply, even after all that. I mean, it could have been more, but it could have been worse too. Okay, now I'm back to 130, I'm 130 supply. I use the uh, space station on that Thor because I really don't want to lose the, my, the rest of my army. The Reapers are considered flying, so the Thor will deal splash damage to them, unless I kill that Thor. 
even quicker. So use the precision strikes to destroy those things. Nice, Chrono Boost by my ally. That's going to allow me to uh, produce Reapers really fast. I use more precision strikes to take out that uh, command center, or that planetary fortress, rather. And I drop down more mag mines where, where I project the, uh, the enemy will come through. But it seems like I will be foiled yet again. Oh, nice solo lance by my ally. Oh! Alright, now I finish off the rest of these tanks. Thank you very much. Again, I'm losing all of my Reapers, but because of the upgrade that I got, they will sh they will shoot uh, they will shoot projectiles at the enemy that killed them, so they will still they will still deal some damage. It's just that I need to remake them. That's the only thing. But yeah, other than that, still pretty good damage. There we go. Try to use precision, precision strikes to take out the remainder of their buildings. I use it on a siege tank because the siege tank deals splash damage. Massive damage. Material needs have been met. I fly the rest of my dudes forward. Is Take out that battle cruiser. Combat systems are up and running. Safety test still pending, so be patient. Take out these things. There we go. Now I'm up to 150 supply. I use the precision strike to get vision of that area, and then once I get vision, the I use the air fleet or the fleet cooldown to take out as many of the enemies as I can. Thor's still alive. But there will be considerably fewer of them. Uh oh, that's a big storm by that hybrid. Need to destroy that hybrid. Need to focus it down. Okay, I'll also use my precision strikes to target fire that hybrid down. There we go. But now we have another hybrid to deal with, a hybrid destroyer. As you can see, I'm, whittling, I'm getting whittled down back to 137 supply. Which is not great, but it's, it's still an army. It's still a big army. And we're still clearing out the rest of the, the rest of this stuff. Just need more Reapers on the ground. So I lift off my Reapers for now. So we'll receive less damage from that uh, anti-ground hybrid. Now the Balius is on the way to the last uh, is on the way to the last hybrid cell. This is the last objective before we win the game. And uh oh, I can't find I can't even find which of that which Reaper to micro away, let alone trying to micro anything out of that fatal attraction mess. Yeesh. I'm still getting units, but I'm getting I'm starting to focus now more on air units because a they get repairs and b fewer things shoot back at them. There's another attack wave heading my way, but it doesn't, doesn't really matter now. I'm just waiting for the hybrid to be released, and now I can focus all my firepower on it. I use some precision strikes here to take out those siege tanks. Yeah. While my main army tries to go through, tries to go through that hybrid, destroy it before this whole army gets to my base. Karak is still doing lots of damage with that uh, solar lance, which is pretty good. Start another to uh, to assault against as much as I can, but it doesn't really matter because the we game is over. All right, really nice. All right. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. If you have an idea for what else I can do, please leave that in a comment. And, uh, while I try to find the score screen, if you want to help support the channel, Patreon link will be on the top right. Let's see. Part and parcel. Is it this one? Ah, it's this one. Yeah, I did double my ally skills because Han and Horner, I, it, it's one of those things. Han and Horner always somehow finds a way to deal more damage than whoever his ally is, and it's... In this particular case, I would manage to double my allies' kills just because, uh, well, Karax isn't really offensively oriented, so it's not that I played better, it's just that this sort of number is expected for a commander like Han and Horner who, has, who simply has more firepower. And uh, as to the parts collected, I did double my allies', uh, my allies parts collected, so that's good news for me. Alright, see you.